guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a lovely day so in today's video i'm going to be styling three different pairs of black trousers 10 different ways so i decided to style three different pairs of black trousers as i know not everyone has the exact same style or cut of black trouser in their wardrobe so i thought this would be the most inclusive but obviously i wasn't able to cover every single style and cut of black trouser these are just the three that i currently have in my wardrobe and the three styles that i definitely gravitate towards the most so anyways let's get started so first up i want to quickly share with you the three pairs of black trousers that i'm going to be styling today so the first pair are my Totem black trousers which you guys have seen me style and wear a million and one times before. I love these trousers so much, the stretchy waistband is super comfortable making them a real go to everyday piece to me. In fact these are probably one of my most worn pieces of 2020. Next up I wanted to share with you my Acne Studios trousers, another trouser I absolutely love and I've had in my wardrobe for quite a few years now. These ones have a zip and button to fasten them up at the waist and have a cropped leg. They are pretty loose around my waist even though I have them in I think a size 32 or a 34 but I don't actually mind that as I sort of prefer a more comfortable fit especially with a trouser that I like to wear more casually. And the last pair I'll be styling today is a new pair that I recently got in from the brand Basic. I only got these trousers in maybe three or four weeks ago now but I've already worn them a bunch of times. They're super comfortable, the quality and the fit is fantastic and I love the little details such as the split at the ankle. My only issue with these trousers is that although I got them in a size zero they are still quite big so I would definitely recommend sizing down on these ones if you were considering purchasing trousers from this brand. So starting off with a more summery look as it is currently 35 degrees here in Melbourne and I am seriously hot, I wanted to show you how I would style a pair of black trousers for a warm weather day. So I've paired my Totem trousers here with a simple black Arquette singlet, my Haru sandals, St. Agni bag and a Frankie Shop jumper. On a day like today I definitely will not be needing a jumper but given how up and down the weather here in Melbourne is I usually tend to take an extra layer with me just in case. This is a super casual and easy to wear outfit and something I feel really comfortable in for most daytime activities. The singlet is a little bit more stylish and chic than a simple black singlet which I love and the combination of the bag and the shoes definitely makes it feel very spring summer appropriate. So next up I thought I would show you how I would style the exact same outfit just to be a little bit more autumn or cooler weather appropriate. So keeping the same singlet and bag I've added in a light beige long trench coat from Frankie Shop and also swapped out the shoes for some beige loafers from 80. I think this outfit feels a little bit more dressy and perhaps more appropriate for a work event or a lunch or even a casual evening event. I love how versatile this trench coat is. I wear it all the time and I just love how you can create so many different looks with it, just depending on whether you opt to leave it open or tie it up or even pop a jumper or a cardigan over your shoulders. It really is just such a versatile wardrobe piece. I think you could swap this trench coat for a wide variety of coats and jackets. It just depends on what you have in your wardrobe and I guess also what your preference is. So next up I wanted to share an outfit with a bit of a pop of colour in it. So you guys have seen me style this blue vest a few times before but I really love it like this worn with a simple white cotton shirt underneath, the same totem trousers as the last two outfits and some simple white Muji sneakers. For the bag I added in my brand new Prada Clio bag which I've been wearing so much. I absolutely adore this piece. It fits all the essentials so I've pretty much barely taken it off since I got it. We all know that vests are super trendy this season and I still really do love them. I think given how simple and monochrome this outfit is, you could easily sub in any vest in any color or pattern that you have in your wardrobe. So don't feel like you would need to own this specific vest in order to recreate this outfit. And lastly, I wanted to include a super casual, even working from home kind of outfit as well. We have all kind of been doing a lot of that this year, so I guess it only really makes sense. Keeping the same trousers as the last three looks, I've swapped in a white Jack and Jack singlet, a stripy shirt, my Burks, and a simple navy blue tote bag. So this is definitely an outfit I would wear on a day where I am just working from home, but I want to feel comfortable and still a little bit chic. I would also pop up to the shops or work from a cafe in this outfit, but depending on how you feel about wearing Burks out of the house, you might want to swap them for a really simple white sneaker or Converse's. I really love outfits like this one for Melbourne weather at the moment. I've been wearing these kind of looks for dinner and drinks in the evening and also for work events during the day. I often will just pop a light blazer on top if I don't feel comfortable just wearing the singlet by itself. So here I'm wearing my basic trousers in black, a white Orson Iris singlet, my black Prada Cleo bag and some brand new Dear Francis boots that I just got in and I was actually showing you guys them in my last vlog. 
This is a super versatile outfit and you can really easily dress up or dress down a really simple look like this. I think it is just a matter of swapping out the accessories such as your jewelry and your bag, maybe changing your shoes and even adding in a blazer or a coat if you're going to wear this outfit in the evening. Next up, I wanted to show you a slightly more autumn appropriate take on the last look. So I've kept the base the exact same as the last look. I've just added in a beige cotton shirt and a navy blue cardigan over the top. I love this outfit for so many different occasions from a work lunch to dinner with friends. It is super versatile and, and feels a little bit dressy with the boots and bag, but then a bit casual with the cardigan over the shoulders. I think if you wanted to make this look even more casual, you could just untuck the shirt and have it be a bit more of a relaxed outfit, but it is really up to you and how you would like to style it. Also, obviously, depending on the weather, you could definitely add a beige trench coat or a wool coat or even a leather jacket over the top of this look. So next up, I wanted to show you how I like to style black trousers for every day. So this is a real popping up to the shops, running some errands, grabbing coffee with a friend, that type of outfit for me. Here I'm wearing the same basic black trousers, a thick black singlet from New Denim, black shirt from Marquette, my Lanier crossbody handbag, and some simple black Doc Martens. You guys already know how much I love to wear an all black look, and this one is really no exception. I always feel like wearing all black just looks polished and put together. And often if I feel like I don't know what to wear, or I feel like nothing in my wardrobe is working that day, an all black look really will solve all my problems. On a hot day, you could take the shirt off and wear this look with just the singlet underneath. And on a colder day, you could add an extra layer or two for warmth. So for this next outfit, I have on my cropped Acne Studios black trousers, a white Uniqlo t-shirt, oversized fake leather black jacket from the Frankie shop and my Muji white sneakers. I've also paired this look with my padded cassette handbag for a slightly dressier feel, but you could just as easily pair this look with a simple black bag or a tote bag in any color or pattern that you wish. So this is a real go-to outfit for me, particularly on the weekends. It's an outfit that I like to repeat week after week, and I find I always feel comfortable and myself in an outfit like this. This is definitely the kind of outfit that I like to wear when I'm running some errands, I'm grabbing coffee, or I'm working from a cafe, that kind of thing. So this next outfit is not that dissimilar from the last in terms of comfort and casualness. I think the main difference here is that I've added a pop of color to this look with the red converses. Recently, I've really loved adding just a pop of color to what is a really simple outfit. And as you guys know, I don't often wear that much color typically, but I think the warm weather always makes me gravitate towards color a little bit more than what I usually do during the year. So I think these red converses are a nice change. I've paired this look with the same trousers, the same t-shirt, and I've swapped out the leather jacket for a super soft light gray Riley Studios jumper instead. If you are a bit scared of adding color to your looks like I am, I would just say stick to one color in the outfit. So here I definitely wouldn't go adding a green bag with the red cons, particularly as I probably end up looking like a Christmas tree, but even still just one color paired with neutral tones is always the most classic. And of course the last look that I wanted to share with you today was a full all black look. So wearing the same black singlet as earlier, but you could also pair this with black t-shirt or a black long sleeve top instead, just depending on the weather. I've also added in a charcoal black blazer and my old school Vans. I really love cropped trousers with Vans. I think they pair really well together, so this is definitely a look that I've actually been wearing quite a lot recently. On a warmer day you could absolutely take the blazer off and wear this look with just the singlet and even change the shoes for sandals or something a little bit more summer appropriate but for a normal spring or autumn weather day in Melbourne I think an outfit like this is just perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching today's style video. I hope you found it inspiring and that it gave you some new ideas for different ways that you can style black trousers, hopefully using a pair that you already have in your wardrobe. But anyways, that is all for today. Thank you guys again so much for watching and for all your support as always. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.